But you know what? It's a special celebration going on right now for a unique community-based group that relies on the work of more than 20,000 volunteers. The Community Collaborative Rain, Hail, and Snow Network uses collective data to measure and map precipitation. Yeah, both rain and snow. And all this, they've actually seen uh, quite a milestone. The network is celebrating a special milestone. It's now received its 50 millionth weather report. Yeah, let's bring in Noah Newman. He's joining us live via Skype from Fort Collins, Colorado, to discuss this. Noah is the Education and Outreach Coordinator with the Climate, with the Colorado Climate Center. Good morning, Noah. Thanks for joining us. And can you explain how someone, just anyone, uh, can get involved with the network and become a volunteer with their own observing station? Sure. The only rule uh, for the whole network is that everyone needs to use the same type of rain gauge. This is one right here. It's a manual gauge. You're not allowed to use one of the automated ones that you mount on your roof. But you put this out in your backyard and you measure once per day and you submit your data either through our website or an app. And then the data are helpful to meteorologists, researchers, farmers, uh, you name it. And no, you're in Colorado, so it's not just rainfall you're measuring, you're also measuring snowfall. So is a certain uh, standard way to measure snowfall there too? There is. You simply take the funnel and the inner tube out of the gauge, and then you just let the snow fall into the main cylinder here. And then you basically melt the uh, snow into the water content and measure that and, and report the water content from the snow. So is it just the precipitation? You guys measure uh, humidity, temperature, wind as well? We pretty much just do precipitation. It does include hail as well, but um, we do have a lot of volunteers that have other weather stations where they'll leave notes in, as far as their temperature, wind, et cetera. They use it as a personal weather diary. So, no, you guys just picked up your 50 millionth weather report. So, you guys have any plans to celebrate the milestone? Well, we uh, printed out a certificate for the actual volunteer who uh, submitted that 50 millionth report. But, you know, he was he's one of our superstars uh, who's been doing it for about 10 years um, every day. And but even someone like that, he's submitted about, you know, three to four thousand reports. So uh, 50 million is just incredible. And is this something go just going on in Colorado, or is it uh, all across the country? Oh, it's nationwide. We're in all 50 states. We're in Canada, Puerto Rico, Bahamas, Virgin Islands. Um, we've got new countries knocking on our door all the time, but that's where we are right now. And even though we're in the 21st century, it's really this, this manual technology which is so crucial into doing what we do every day, which is supply forecast, and not just for people, you know, going to the park, but like you mentioned, farmers and people who rely on weather for their livelihood. Yeah, oftentimes the automated gauges, they, are, they can be okay, but um, for real accuracy, the, the manual gauge, just you just can't beat it. Cannot beat it, right. Great information. Thanks for joining us. That's Noah Newman with the Colorado Climate Center for joining us this morning. Well, again, speaking of 